Hey there, it's Dodge Crypto here, and I hope everybody is doing it. And welcome back and smash that like and give us a subscribe. It's always much appreciated. And do you know what I'm really, really, really liking to see at the moment? That we can see Mary is up just over 15%. It's been up a bit more over that over the 24 hours, but at the moment, as it is, standing at 50%. And it's great to see that the Kronos ecosystem, the meme coins within the Kronos ecosystem is getting a little bit of love. And that will reflect on the CRO coin as well. And that is what I like to see. You know, in all honesty, I do own Mary and I do own Core. I do own Roshi and I do own Crop as well. And uh, a bit of Corgi AI. I don't know, call that like a meme coin, but I own Corgi AI as well. And it is really, really good to see that we're starting to get a little bit of traction as well for the for the meme coins it's great for the ecosystem i know some people don't like meme coins but nevertheless we've got a fact is that it's good for the ecosystem and that means it's going to be good for cro coin it's going to get that traction and uh, i like playing with uh, meme coins and that i've got meme coins outside of the chronos ecosystem as well you know because at the end of the day they are volatile and they can make big gains and they can make big losses as well like so you always got to be careful but it, and nevertheless it's great to see mary on there in that and it was great to see i don't know if this was a mistake or whatever but it was great to see it on crypto.com as well and we can see here and i mentioned yesterday in the video i don't know if this is some intern making a mistake and putting this on or is this really legit because to put this on here was really really suggest to me that it is imminent that we're going to get a listing for mary now if we do get an imminent I'm really expecting this price to move up or is the price being priced in now but if it isn't i'm expecting some big move for mary to come along and maybe for some of the other meme coins on the chronos ecosystem as well but i really do think it's going to be good for chronos and the cro token so overall i really really do hope that this is <laughs> this is not a mistake being made because it wouldn't be very good pr wise for crypto.com to do this uh, it's going to disappoint a lot a lot of people and uh, I've just got my fingers and toes crossed that we are going to get this listing because I've got the video here. And for them to create this video would suggest to me that there is something coming back. Because it wouldn't say buy these tokens and, and such like if they weren't going to list it. But now I might be wrong. I don't know what's going on behind closed doors on that. But we can see here, obviously, Mary is on here. And, and I, like I said, I really do think it's going to get listed. When? I'm not too sure. But hopefully, I think it'd be coming sooner rather than later because we can see the Kronos since we're starting to get a little bit of traction. Look at that. Over from the bear market lows that we got here, we we're sitting at, we've moved up. Consider, and I know people said, oh, you know, we haven't moved up, but we've moved up from five cents all the way. We went all the way to 18 pence, and now we've come back down to around about eight cents. So obviously, We've had this beautiful trajectory. We had that bit of a dip, and hopefully we're going to make our way up because the volume is starting to gradually increase. We're at around about 3 million. And obviously, if these meme coins get more traction, that means then, obviously, hopefully, that will bring more volume into the CRO. Because you can see here, we're around about 49 to 51. 51 bearish, 49% bullish. And uh, that can easily change because don't forget, this week, we have got the Federal Reserve meeting. And we can see here, right now we're getting 50 50. it wasn't it was more towards the side of 25 percent basis point but now we're going to about 50 basis points so it's a bit of 50 50 and we know what happens after that the money printers come on which is good to risk on assets such as crypto so i'm hoping when this is all done we're going to get some money printing and obviously that's going to be that uh, that liquidity is going to come into the crypto space because and this will help again this will help like the uh, chronos ecosystem it'll help crypto as a whole and that really will and we can see here and obviously one thing i am watching as well is that bitcoin dominance bitcoin sitting at sixty thousand two hundred four, which is not a bad move that's hopefully bitcoin will hold the hold where it is now and cut co and cover that cme gap which will take us slightly higher to about sixty thousand five hundred. but in a moment i'm watching the dominance very carefully i'm watching the fed watch as well but let's have a quick check of the what's actually happening uh, with a CRO coin. This is on the weekly chart, by the way, and we've been on this downward trend, just like a lot of the other altcoins. What I'm watching for is, is to break this area of trend here. We could break this trend and make our way back up, but obviously Bitcoin comes down, it's going to drag the market down. But if it doesn't, and that dominance comes down as well, or we get some really, really good news come out of crypto.com, 
and we could break that trend and then obviously break that trend because uh, at the moment the trend is your friend until it ends and hopefully it's coming towards an end and we break up to the upside. Watching very carefully on the daily is the Cypher B here because look, we're starting to get that nice little bit of curvature coming in. We're getting a curvature up here, like the money flow at the moment has actually been, you can see here it's been coming out, but if we go further ahead when we had that big move, we started to get that money flow coming in. The money flow's been coming out, but actually we're starting to get a bit of a curvature to the upside. And look at this nice bit of a curvature here pushing up. And we can see what happened here. We've got that curvature pushing up and we've got more liquidity coming into the space. And we can have a look on the four hourly as well. We can see here on the four hourly, uh, we start to get that money flow coming in. But like I said, we need to break this area of resistance around here, break the trend and the trend is to the upside, hopefully. And obviously that's all subject to what Bitcoin does. So we're watching what's happening with CME, what happens with, because we've only got like about three days left before the Federal Reserve make a decision. Also watching the dominance as well. Hopefully we're going to get Merry listed. Now also, are we going to get Crow Burns as well? That's going to be a good catalyst as well. If you get Crow Burns, that's going to be another catalyst for maybe more upside for CRO tokens. So we've got a lot of forward things to look forward to uh, in the coming days, I really do think. Are we going to get this rate cut? What is it going to be? Are we going to get burns? Are we going to get merry listed? There's lots of things going on in the Kronos ecosystem as well. They're adding all new features all the time to the crypto.com app as well. It's looking really great. In my opinion, it's looking really good. And uh, like I said, I keep on buying CRO with my debit card and with my earn and with my DeFi as well. So there's lots of things going on there, but I'm watching very closely to what actually happens with merry because I'm not, sold, like I said, I've not sold anything in terms of uh, the meme coins on crypto.com's ecosystem or any kind of CRO because I've got the bigger picture. Once that printing starts coming on, that is when we're going to start to see some big moves in October, November, and December, and maybe even through to January, February for crypto as well. We're going to get these big moves. And don't forget, a lot of people have also left the space. And those are the people who are going to get left behind. And they're the ones who are going to get disappointed when we make some big moves to the upside. Now, obviously, this is not financial advice. You always do your own research. This is for entertainment purposes only. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon in the video. Have a great Sunday.